guys and welcome back to another review well a different review today we're going to be reviewing this I haven't seen anyone review it yet but it's um, Ammo Mig's uh, acrylic water for diamond of course now they come in like a different um, different colors different shades I think, so the one I've got is deep oceans you get clear water green water brown water uh, what else is there? There's river water, even spring water. I think I do not know, but there's um, a quite a few, and I picked this up from E Models, which is not far from me. Uh, I basically I went to see meet up with um, Steve from Motti's Military Models, and basically we had a look around there, and this was one of the items I picked up. Uh, as for this diorama, so as no one's used it yet, I thought, well, why not give it a shot and review it? Okay, so of course, by Ammo, it's Ammo by Mig Jimas of Spain. <laughs> Just that's a quick cool look at that. Okay, it says it can be pulled directly from the bottom to prepared area. This product extends and is self leveling. Product develops for creating areas of water. Re is it? Sorry, realistically. Replicating various types of scenic effects for your modeling needs. Color may change when drying. And of course, it's got the Spanish version there. Okay, not for children under 10, of course. And that's it. So that's really it. So I kind of already used a touch of it, but it's kind of. Hmm. This is like that. So I'm just going to grab a stick. Just in case, lift this off. I'll give you using a couple of these today. Okay, so it's acrylic, so you don't need to worry about a lot. As you can tell, it is wow, very blue. In fact, it's actually it's like it's more almost like a gel sort of thing. You know, hmm, it doesn't smell that much, but you can definitely tell there's a different odor from it and uh, I think I did do a little bit it took about a good while to dry so I'm not going to lie to you on that so as you can tell the texture looks really good I don't know whether you can thin this down with water or not but anyhow this is what I'm going to be using if I can find get some room space here so this is the base I'm going to be using I'm just going to zoom out this is what we're going to be using uh, this is a base for a diorama for the trawler I am making. I don't know if you can see, just along there. That's where they come. And that's what it's going to be for. So, we're just going to try it out and see how it works. So, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to prime it all, I'm just going to paste it straight on. I mean, some people would prefer to do undercoats and that, but we'll just paste it on here. Okay, so, hmm, so it does look like a pretty thick gel, in all fairness. I think we're going to need a bit more than just that bit on there. So let's just pull it straight from the bottle. And we're just going to spread it evenly across. Like so. So I'm guessing this will take quite a huge amount up of this stuff. So you don't want it too thick, you don't want it too just right basically. Goldilocks theory. Should you pull it? Hmm. Right, so it does get a bit messy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Wow, wow we so it doesn't smell as much, but you can like I said earlier, it, you can tell there's a different odour in the room. Uh, it's I think it's, it's saying it's slow drying as well, so so obviously it will take um a good while to do, obviously across here. 
Now, I think it would be best if you put uh, down a different coat or something like that down to the model. But it can be, it's saying I think it can be added using layers as well. So, I think that's what the idea is for. Just go paste over these parts, like so. Very lightly, even it over the surface. So, it doesn't look too bad in all fairness. Now, it does say it will dry, so obviously that's the case. So, I think by the looks of things, we're going to need a fair amount for this part. Hmm. <laughs> so, so far, not too bad, not too bad. It's going really well. Just paste it all over, I think, the best thing to do. Like so. That noise is getting on your nerves now. Hmm, so not too bad, not too bad. It's going on quite well. So, naturally, this is for um, naturally dioramas, I guess. <laughs> I guess. So, it's up to you how you use it, whether you prefer to use it for your little vignettes, river scenes, railroad, well, railroad modeling, model railways, such like that. It's, it's entirely your opinion, but so far, it doesn't look too bad actually. And of course, naturally, it's self leveling, so we can see. But uh, I'm going to try and get some wave effects. I know sometimes people would prefer to make grooves out of them, uh, grooves out of the wave effects and that. But in theory, it should make a nice rippling effect across the model. So. Mm -hmm. It's going to take quite a while, so tell you what then, I'm going to stop the camera and we'll finish the rest off. Eventually. Right, so I've got the base done. Blimey, it took a while to do. The most important thing is though, right, this is the first layer. And we still have enough in there. There is loads in there. Ah, oh, I got it over my hand. So that's one thing you got to be clear about again over your hands and things like that. Now one benefit about it being like this is because it's so slow drying you can actually make your patterns you want in the sea well in the seascape whichever you want to do it as because then that allows you to if it's a big area it allows you to just make those tiny little waves I see like around here so it's actually very very nice it I, allows it. Now apparently it dries in layers so if you want to you can add more layers if you choose to do so which I'll probably do in a bit. But at the minute we're just going ahead and we're just making little grooves in the area to make the sea if you want to put it and the waves and that. So just put it as that so we can put different lines if you wish to cover them up different areas so you can paste it fairly thick if you want to it depends what type of climate you want to make if you want it to be calm, you want it to be a bit rough the sea or whatever but basically it depends on how you want it so it will take a while to do but in the long run it's not too bad it's a very nice technique very nice as well just getting that pattern all done does take a while as you can tell so it depends if you want high waves and that like you'll have to carve the actual base itself into what you need so then I'm just gonna make some patterns as well because why not like so make some little just break the actual pattern of the waves like that so it doesn't actually make it look fake if you know what I mean and make it realistic 
At the minute, it does look actually pretty realistic. It's actually going slightly darker. So, it's not too bad. But it makes a nice effect for waves that lot. And some areas you may have to put a bit extra on. Like here. Some good waves around here. Like so. So it's not like pretty difficult, it looks fairly easy, even though I'm doing this, this is my first time actually using it, this is no word of a lie. So, some areas you must move out if you wish to, for make waves. That's your tiny issue. As Bob Ross says, it's only your little world. <laughs> I think that's what he said anyway. Anyhow, this is it, I'm going to carry on making these waves, and we'll see where we get to. Tomorrow. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's dry. Um, it's kind of difficult to tell if it's uh, natural light or not. At the minute, it's tacky dry. Uh, I just realised it turns into kind of like um, a uh, how do you put it? Like a gloss finish, see-through finish. I forgot all about that. So as you can tell, I didn't put a base coat down. It's come through the base colour. So I think in furthermore hand. I think it's best if we um, actually painted it uh, white, well not black, black or brown or something, I don't know. But anyhow, always put a base coat down first because that's what it looks like. So I'm just debating what to do whether to put another coat over the top because this has been dry now for just under 12 hours now. So just wondering whether to put another coat coat on the, the um, acrylic water or at least give it a quick spray of paint so then that will give it a nice base coat colour when we put another layer over the top. I'm just wondering so hmm, I think I might go and paint it see what colours are, paint like a brownish colour and then we'll see where it goes because it's not, it's not, well just a review so if you want the colour just paint to prime it with that colour basically guys that's all I'm saying. As you can tell it has been 24 hours since this has dried and a lot has happened, I'm going to tell you that now. Uh, you can tell what's happened. Basically what it was, um, I did what I said I was going to do, I went over the top and sprayed it with a mix of these two colours which are the Revel uh, Black and Blue, very typical. Um, it's basically a 50-50 mix and that's how it turned out. So what I did then, I went ahead and used the lighter blues and the whites again from Revel and basically gave a bit of coat and a bit of variation like around here where the actual boat will sit. And then finally I used a fine brush and a toothpick even, or a cocktail stick whichever I call them, and went across the wave particles to make it look like a wave effect. So I think it's best in general to say, I think it's best to give it a base coat first. And it can be your choice whether you want to go over the top with the water effects or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's your call. You do what you want. But now I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to give it a fade of gloss varnish. It's It looks watery enough, but with a gloss I think it will give that bit of extra kick if you get what I mean. So, I'm, so a bit of gloss varnish straight over the top. Shouldn't be that difficult. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, it is working just very slightly. So, yeah, just a bit of glass by show the top, I think. We'll just give it that extra kick as well as seal all the paintwork in. So, I don't really can see that going on there. It's just going on very lightly, I am. So, I don't know where actually to brush this on or not, actually, because how it is. Depends what your varnish is, if you can spray it, no problem, brush it on, no problem again. But like I said, the, I think the paint can be either used airbrush or normal brush, I think. So, won't be no di difficult, but I think for actually painting this on, actually, I'm just thinking actually to uh, 
whether to actually brush it on or not. Anyway, it's your decision. Your call, what you want to do. So yeah, that, that guys is basically really it. That is how it turns out. So I'll give us a gloss varnish and see how it finally comes out then. Okay, there we have it. This is all now done guys, so, well, it's not done, I still need to paint it black around the edges here. But really, that is actually done. It's a nice sturdy layer, it's been varnished, glossed, it looks spiffing. And furthermore, to add to that, I'll just test out, and it should fit perfectly. Place that in there, and there we are. Right. Hmm. That is the actual boat in, and as you can tell, it does actually give it a nice feature. Just so you can see that. Well, you can always tell how big a project is when you have trouble seeing the actual detail on the side. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that is actually the review. So that's how it turns out where it looks, and it does not look really really good and I'm really happy with that so really that is a thumbs up from me <laughs> it's a bit weird that was uh, I kept saying really quite a lot but anyhow as I said thumbs up from me from Ming Ammo that is actually a really nice thing now it does if you press down really hard it does actually go down a bit but I think because of like how it is, it does give a nice ripple effect on everything. So, wow, I'm over the moon by that, guys. So yes, if you, any of you are interested in buying this product, I'd say get it because, like I said, that's the first for me. But wow, and also another thing is, I always put a base coat down either first or after. Like in this case, this was after. So I wonder what it's going to be like if I put a base down first. But apart from that. This is all I'm going to use of it so far. So with that, thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed this review. I have certainly. Thank you for watching. So please like, subscribe and even comment what you think of this. And I shall see you all later. So with that, thank you, cheers and goodbye for now.